the faculty, if anything, has made this experience so much easier. I had never, ever pictured uh, to have this career. Um, it wasn't my goal when I first started this journey, but now I don't think I could picture me doing anything else. I didn't have the confidence that I have now. Like, doing this has been huge for me. We have graduates from our programs that the entire graduating class has a job before they even graduate. Welcome to Achieve More with Athens Tech, the official podcast of Athens Technical College. This is where you'll discover how the programs at Athens Tech can connect you with in-demand and high-paying careers. In today's episode, we'll find out what Athens Technical College is actually like from the students who attend and the instructors who teach. Plus, we'll hear a story of how Athens Tech completely changed one man's life. Could it do the same for you? Maybe. First, let's hear from a couple of students. Hi, my name is Mary Bray, and I had the honor of receiving the 2022 Gold Student of the Year at Athens Technical College. So right after, right after I graduated from high school, um, I married my husband. We've been married for 27 years. I married my high school sweetheart. When I came back to school in 2018, I had been a pharmacy tech for 16 years, and the series of events that led me to go back to school was about 15 years ago, my dad had a heart attack, and about six months after he had the heart attack, he had a whole bunch of dental work done, and after all the dental work was completed, the dentist actually told him that he prolonged his life by making the investment uh, into his his um, oral health. There is a link between gum disease and heart disease. And I'm 45 years old and I'm a daddy's girl. And I feel like that if I can help one daughter keep her daddy in her life, for a little bit longer than the struggle and the journey that I've been through is worth it. Well, to start, my name is Irvin Allen Reyes. Prior to my admission or acceptance at Athens Tech, I was in the Marine Corps for four years. And once I applied to Athens Tech, I am pursuing a two-year degree uh, for consumer economics and will continue to pursue my bachelor's degree at UGA in the School of Family Consumer Science. Irvin and Mary both came to Athens Tech from completely different backgrounds, but it seems that they found the help they needed here pretty easily. The faculty, if anything, has made this experience so much easier because especially my advisor, whenever I've had questions about what classes I should take or is this the correct thing for my degree path, for my goal of eventually going to UGA and finishing out my four-year degree, She's provided an endless amount of support answering all those questions and even going above and beyond by taking my degree and going into my degree path and choosing what courses would best fit my goal. So it's always been very hands-on and very one-to-one -one whenever I needed it. Ms. Burrell, she believed in me before I believed in me. She has completely changed my life. And I will stay in contact with her after I graduate. So what exactly does Athens Tech offer that makes students say things like that? Yeah, my name is uh, Stuart Frew. I'm the Dean of the Life Sciences and Public Safety Division here at Athens Technical College. Um, I uh, started here at the college as the program chair for the radiography program and uh, have since moved into a dean's position here. Dean Fru can answer the question of how Athens Tech supports students and instructors. It can be uh, continuing education for instructors uh, to learn how to use, let's say, Blackboard, uh, our online learning environment, how to become uh, a better user in that so that the students are, are getting more information in, in, a, in a streamlined way. Uh, it can be uh, equipment needed um, for dental hygiene, getting all new x-ray uh, equipment for them. Uh, brand new equipment for the radiography program, brand new equipment for, we have new simulation mannequins uh, that are upwards of sixty dollars to $70,000 that we bought for the EMT program, the nursing programs. Uh, again, we are just anything and everything that these, these program chairs uh, are looking for, uh, we, we will look into and see if we can, can get that for them so that 
uh, student learning can, can continue to move forward. And th- I mean, those are kind of larger scales and equipment purchases. But again, it comes down to just resources for those instructors, making sure they understand the processes at the college, uh, the, the extended services that we have here at, at ATC for student support, student support services, uh, veterans affairs, so on and so forth. Those are all things that are available here. And, and uh, I, I'm kind of a, a conduit to, to help anybody that's looking for that information from an instructor student uh, standpoint staff standpoint uh, to to link them up with those resources so that they can be successful can you give us some more details uh well disability services test we have a testing center we have tutoring uh for specifically in my division uh we have an anatomy and physiology open labs with um uh, student uh, uh, workers that, that are in there. Uh, we have tutors for anatomy and physiology. We have tutors for math. We have tutors for English. Those are outside of my division. Um, those are all student support services that are available here. Veteran uh, services uh, are available here at the college. Uh, we, in this division, we've gone above and beyond to provide what students need in order to be uh, successful beyond just going home with a textbook or uh, you know meeting with an instructor, which our, our instructors have open door policies here. They, they have office hours. They are more than willing to meet with students as they need to, which I would assume most higher ed, uh, education um, uh, colleges or universities would do anyways. But uh, again, for us to be able to provide those additional services is huge. And on top of that, we've just remodeled and updated our entire library. Uh, it is it is uh, spectacular. The online um, resources for students, whether it's uh, databases uh, like CINAHL, as well as anything that we have hardback in that library, we have a, a tech nest uh, where they can go in and and uh, play around with a uh, 3D printer. We have individual study areas uh, that are quiet rooms that they can reserve. Uh, Every one of the divisions now have laptops that can be uh, checked out to uh, instructors uh, for classes. So if they want to do online testing or videos or whatever it is in the classroom where students need a laptop, we have those to to provide to those instructors uh, so that the students may not, uh, if they don't have a laptop, uh, to be able to do those things in the classroom environment, we, we can provide that to them. My name is Lauren Williams. I am the Director of Admissions here at Athens Technical College. A good candidate for a student here at Athens Technical College will be someone that wants good hands-on training here at the college. We have a lot of great programs that are direct pathways into employment. Um, so we have lots of opportunities that students get to jump right into direct core coursework for programs. Uh, maybe they want to go into a health field, um, work in that realm. We have a lot of welding, automotive technology programs. So anybody that really wants to work with their hands, um, do some problem solving, a lot of opportunities here for our students. And we have a pretty diverse population of students. Um, it may be someone that has just graduated high school, um, and it can be somebody up into the 60s, 70s that want to get retrained into a new endeavor. Yeah, funny enough, I did encounter someone who was in their 50s, but even then, those individuals were, were just as great. They Some of them were, this was their first degree that they were pursuing, and were actually very motivating because they're like, I didn't do it when I was uh, in my 20s, and now I'm here because I actually want to pursue and get my first degree in something, and I was like, that's, that's pretty inspiring. And we even have students that have graduated with bachelor's degrees that come back um, to look for more gainful employment or just get a new skill set um, to move up within their industry. So we do have a lot of students that just overcome a lot of barriers, a lot of trials and become successful in their workplaces. I want to introduce you to Jonathan. My name is Jonathan Swinsberg and I'm program chair for industrial systems technology at Athens Technical College. So being a program chair, um, it's my job to manage the curriculum for the program and um, the faculty in the program and advise students on their course paths, um, along with um, delivering instruction and um, teaching uh, students um, hands-on lab activities. Yeah, Jonathan is an instructor here at Athens Tech, but his story is so much more than that. Here at the college, we have a whole range. So it's not just people coming out of high school. We're college, but that's a that's another thing that's really, uh, I think, different about the technical college is um, we, we've got from people um, coming out of high school to uh, last spring, I had somebody graduate who was 62 years old out of the program. So we've got a kind of everything in between. And so um, at, when it comes to apprehension, another thing I would say is, People just think they can't do something or they like 
it's too late. I, I, I can't do that. I, I put that off and it's just too late to go to back to school. Now I'm here to tell you, I'm a perfect example of that. So not only am I an instructor here at the college, but I actually came through the college's adult education program. Um, I came to the college just looking to get a GED. And here I am sitting as an instructor um, a few years later. So there's just so much to offer and it's not too late. You know, I, I didn't go, I had an eighth grade education till I was 38 years old. You know, and today I'm sitting here talking to you with a career as a college instructor. So, it, you know, it's not too late to take those steps if you hadn't taken them already. Even if the steps all the way to go back to get your diploma or GD to kind of start out on that aspect, we can kind of take you through the whole thing from one end of the spectrum to the other. Um, another thing is, uh, you know, uh, I, I see is students going to. Um, maybe interested in a four-year college coming out of high school and they don't get into their first um, pick, whatever they're picking. I, I have some, uh, I have four sons. And so, um, you know, them looking at schools and stuff like that, you know, they get so excited, you know, like looking at schools and kind of have their mindset, I want to get into this school or that school. And they don't get in and then they kind of maybe just give up. And, and, a, and a big thing you can do is go to a technical college and take uh, general education credits and then enter the college system as a transfer student. And it's actually much easier to get into that college. And another big part of that is, is you save a lot of money because those years of transfer credits are much more expensive. It's a fraction of the cost of what that same tuition for those classes would cost at the four-year university. I love Jonathan's story and his excitement for the school. Is his story the norm? Probably not. Is his excitement for Athens Tech the norm? Actually, yeah, it is. We're, we're kind of the hidden gem here uh, of the, the college system in Georgia. $100 for credit hour. I mean, think about that. $100 for credit hour. And then if you get Hope Scholarship, 80% of that is your tuition is covered. So you're paying 20% of that. That's 20 bucks a credit hour. That, that's, that's pretty good. Um, and then, you know, you can look at the success rates that come from the programs here in our division specifically. Almost every one of our programs is at a 100% pass rate on their, their national uh, certification exams. Uh, if they're not at 100%, they're in the mid to high 90s. Uh, I don't know a lot of colleges that can brag on that one the way that we can. Uh, job placement rates are all near 100% from our programs within uh, 12 months of graduation. Um, and then our attrition rates are, are, are great. But we don't lose students left and right. We're not here to weed students out. That's not our job. Our job is to bend over backwards to help students be successful. And uh, our program effectiveness data shows that. That's on our website. Every program has it. You can go and look at it. And each one of them, you're going to see that 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 awesome number uh, for each one of those categories. So, yeah, my job is not to fail students. It's to make sure that students understand what I am teaching them. Um, so if if you know everything, then there's no use to come into a program and learn anything, right? The red ink is where the learning happens. Technical colleges are a great resource that are not utilized enough. They provide the foundations and the workforce that are really the backbone of these communities. Um, they do the jobs that keep businesses, buildings, manufacturers going. Um, and it actually is what helps drive some of the industry to come into our areas and help us um, economically that way. Um, a lot of students even use this as a more affordable opportunity to go on to a four-year institution. We have a lot of articulation agreements with four-year institutions and a lot of our core classes with any of the university system schools um, articulate over. So it's a great opportunity to get a head start on those core classes um, and just more affordable, lower debt coming out of college, little to no debt most of the time for our students. So it's just a great resource, great programs, great hands-on knowledge. And our instructors just have years of vast knowledge that they bring into their classrooms that they can give students real, real life examples of what they utilize out there in the workforce. Thanks for listening to Achieve More with Athens Tech the official podcast of Athens Technical College. I'm a believer that to achieve more is to take care of the little things. I had made some mistakes earlier in life and um, kind of, I had a lot of big dreams of things I wanted to do. 
and kind of walking around with my head in the clouds and it was just dreams. And I've learned uh, that great things can happen to you if you can just kind of keep your head down and take care of the little things and just keep grinding away. And then one day you look up and you're on top of the world, you know, instead of having my head up in the clouds and, and never getting anywhere and, and, and be open to things because I had never ever pictured uh, to be a, a technical college instructor or have this career. Um, it wasn't my goal when I first started this journey. And, uh, but now I don't think I could picture me doing anything else. So, you know, kind of just be open, take care of the little things and then see what opportunities present themselves. For more information, visit AthensTech.edu. This podcast is a production of BG Ad Group. Darren Sutherland, Executive Producer. Jeremy Powell, Creative Director. Jacob Sutherland, Director. Producers Jason Gentarola and Matt Golden. And Kezia May, Copywriter. All rights reserved.